Let's build skills in mapping and also analyze a key issue in the community, in this case, litter. Let's go to ArcGIS Online and go to Map and Add Layer. Add Layer from URL. In this case, the layer is a comma-separated value file, a CSV, a data table. And if you go to Next, you will see the fields that you're going to map. In this case, fields containing different types of litter. Note also there's a field called latitude and a field called longitude that it's going to use to make your map. In this case, it's the center of San Diego, California. But remember, it could be anywhere and the data could be anything. Tree species, noise, pedestrian counts at intersections, etc. If you go to the data table now, we're looking at the I part of GIS, the information. And note, all of the fields that were in that CSV are now in the data table attached to the map. Now we can do things with the data. We can analyze spatial patterns, which is exactly what you're going to do in this exercise. On the right side, let's add a field. Let's select one of the litter fields. Plastic bottles we've got at our fingertips, but let's select fast food wrappers. Once we do, we'll have one field that we're mapping, and it makes a graduated symbol map with larger symbols for more litter. Let's pop up that legend on the left side so we can see this. We can modify the color, the symbols, the size. We can do all that. But let's go ahead and add all of the fields now. And now it's going to give you a predominance map showing the type of litter, but also the predominant type of litter. I'm going to change the symbol a little bit so we're going to get some outline. And we're going to bump up the size a bit so you can see it better. But now we've got two things. We've got the darkness is the strength of predominance, and the color is what type of litter is predominant. And now I've just changed it to a pie chart map, so I can see the different wedges of the pie are the different types of litter in the data table. Let's go ahead and change the outline color a bit so we can see it a little bit better. Again, all of this is modifiable. This is the beauty of WebGIS. Is this better or worse than a predominant map? It just depends on, does this help you gain insight? Then it's better for you. So there are few rules. There are many guidelines, but few rules. Let's change the outline transparency a bit and the outline width so we can see that a little bit better. Let's dig one more step deeper, and let's go to Styles one more time and go to Charts and Size. If we go to Charts and Size and go to Style Options, I'm going to slide that shape bar from pie to donut. OK, now we've got a donut or a ring chart. I'm going to say done there, and I'm going to go to effects and drop shadow so we can see those rings just a little bit better. So now the size of the ring is the amount of litter. The ring wedges are the types of litter in each one of those locations. So notice I can change the base map. Think about resolution. All I care about here is that I was in that intersection. I was not in the center of the intersection. I'm not laying fiber optic cable, so I don't care about sub-centimeter accuracy. All I care about is I was in the intersection. Note also that baseball stadium. Does this inspire you to take action about if there's more litter near a baseball stadium, do we need to do some sort of recycling, community outreach effort, et cetera? It's all about what's where, why is it there, and why should we care? So you've built some key skills here. You've mapped a data table in different kinds of maps, graduated symbol, predominance, pie chart, ring chart.